Fred Panazza. Um, I've been doing this since 1991, so I guess about 25 years now. You know, taxidermy can kind of have a bad name in some places and with some people, so we always do our best to try to keep a clean shop and to um, do what we can to educate people. Um, you know, let them know that it's it's not all bad. It's you know, it's good, and that um, you know, we care about the animals and, and the way they look and everything as much as you know anybody else. So the animal comes in basically in the raw stage with the head attached usually, so we skin that out. Um, we turn the lips and ears and everything and uh, flesh the hide, salt it, uh, fold it up as it dries so we can ship it to the tannery. It comes back as a nice tan fur and then we'll soak it, um, rehydrate it and uh, order the proper mannequin that fits it and stretch it over, do our clay work and, and put it all back together and try to make it look natural again. They're all really interesting, but probably the uh, a moose or grizzly, and that's just because of where they come from. Not a lot of people get to see those animals, you know, out in their natural surroundings, so I guess to me that's pretty special. You know, hunters that come out, they want to save those memories, so they're willing to spend, you know, whatever it takes, from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. So it's on the wall that, um, you know, it reminds them of the hunt. And I've always enjoyed watching wildlife out in the in their natural settings and trying to recreate that, I guess.